As you likely know, the annual Chiltern Firehouse Ball is one of the biggest events on the royal calendar. All of the top royals and their associates gather at the exclusive private members club in London for a glamorous evening of fine dining, dancing, and reconnecting after a busy year. It's a chance for the top brass to rub elbows and plot their agendas for the coming 12 months. But this year, one major royal was noticeably absent from the guest list, Prince Harry. Sources close to the palace have revealed that Harry received a call just days before the ball informing him that his presence was no longer required. Can you believe it? The once-beloved party prince, banned from what is essentially the social event of the season among his social circle. Now Harry is certainly no stranger to causing controversy or ruffling feathers over the years with his playboy antics. But to be so publicly shunned and tossed aside from such a prestigious affair has really set tongues wagging. Surely this is another knock to Harry's already damaged reputation within the higher echelons of the monarchy. So why the sudden about-face and exclusion? Well, insider sources claim tensions have been rising for some time between Harry and other senior Windsors over his outright defiance of royal protocols and blistering attacks on the institutions. His bombshell interview with Oprah where he trash-talked his family really took things to another level, staining his relationship with Buckingham Place perhaps beyond repair. The final straw seems to have been Harry's much-publicized upcoming memoir set for release later this year. Palisades are said to be furious that Harry is planning to further air the royal family's dirty laundry and settle perceived scores in print. They feel he has crossed an unforgivable line by planning to put private family matters on public display just to line his own pockets. By banning him from the Chilton Ball, the palace has sent a very loud and clear message that Harry is now decidedly persona non grata in their inner circle. They are distancing themselves from the rebel royal and his unpredictable antics before he can cause any more self-inflicted damage to the already battered house of Windsor Brand. Harry's defiance has consequences, it seems. So in summary, Harry's bombshell book combined with his tell-all Oprah interview seems to have burned his final bridges with the palace hierarchy. They no longer want anything to do with the loose cannon duke and have publicly shunned and shamed him by cutting him off from their prized social events. It appears peace and quiet is more important to the old guard than keeping rebellious family members within the reluctantly extended royal embrace. Ouch! The ball was said to be an electric affair regardless, with senior royals like Charles, William, and Kate holding center stage in Harry's place. They dazzled guests with effortless charm while subtly reminding all present who the real future of the monarchy will be. Meanwhile, Harry was left to stew on the sidelines, persona fully non grata from the glitzy inner circle he once called family. Word on the street is that Meghan did not attend in his place either, declining the invitation in a likely show of solidarity. Sources say she remains just as unwelcome among the Windsor clique as her husband after similarly criticizing the firm. It seems the prodigal son and his controversial wife have well and truly burned their last bridge back into the royal ranks for the time being at least. The big question now is, how much more juicy content will Harry spill in his upcoming book now that bridges have been so definitively burned? Will he pull any punches or hold back in his takedown of the royal family given his current exile? After being so publicly shunned and shamed, might Harry feel he has nothing more to lose and go totally scorched earth? Insiders predict fireworks ahead as the Duke shows no signs of backing down from his advocacy work or criticism of the toxic press culture, even if it further damages relations with his estranged family. With the book now his only outlet, all bets are off on just how nuanced or nuclear his tell-all threats might become. The Windsors will be watching and waiting with apprehension, I'm sure. Well folks, that's all the hot gossip I have for you on this developing royal feud. Let me know your thoughts on Harry being frozen out in the comments below. Do you think the palace ban was too harsh? Or is this just the natural consequence of Harry sticking two figurative middle fingers up at the establishment? Be sure to like and subscribe for more Royal Rumor recaps coming your way real soon. Thanks for watching.